Hi guys, this is the Simon Expert channel and today we have a question from Mohammed from Fiji. So here's the question. We have a 2 kilo block on an inclined surface and it is connected to a light spring with a stiffness 100 newtons per meter. Uh, the pulley is frictionless and the block remains in rest until the spring is unstretched. Then it moves down for 20 centimeters or 0.2 meters and rests again. Our task is to find the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface. All right, so to find the coefficient of kinetic friction, we need to apply the work energy theorem. Uh, the work done by the friction forces to move our block down the surface is equal to the gravitational potential energy plus the potential energy of the spring. Our forces of friction are equal to our coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force and everything else stays the same. And the normal force here in our case equals mg times d times uh, cosine theta and here we have negative mgd sine theta plus one half of kd squared. Now we can change the sign to get rid of the negatives and we can also divide all these parts by d. So we get mu k times mg times cosine theta equals mg times sine theta minus one half times k times d. And from here we can finally derive our coefficient of kinetic friction. Mu k equals mg times sine theta minus one half of KD over MG times cosine theta. So now we can just put all the known variables into this function. But unfortunately we don't know the angle theta. So here just for example we will take the angle 40 degrees. Let's proceed. So guys, here's our formula for the coefficient of kinetic friction. Now let's put all our variables. So m equals 2 times 9.8 times sine of 40 degrees minus 1 half times k, which is 100. times 0 0.2 and in the denominator we have m 2 kilos times 9.8 times cosine of 40 degrees and all the operations will give us 0. 173. So here is the coefficient of kinetic friction in this system. Thanks for watching us guys. See you soon.